Hey guys, we're the ECB team, and today we're going to talk about Eurovision 2024 entries. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. So this night will be all about Israel. The country has internally selected their singer for Eurovision 2024. Eden Golan won Hakohava Ba'o, the rising star for Eurovision 2024. Thereafter, Israel had an open call for songs, and the winning song is Hurricane. So let's see where this hurricane takes us and how. Starting with, maybe I will start this time. So yeah, actually I was really exciting to, excited, sorry, to hear the Israeli entry this year. Uh, the first reason, and maybe the main one, is because Eden herself, I followed the, the Rising Star. I was really impressed by her talent, a vocal, but also the way she conquered the stage. Actually, this girl is really talented. She can do pop, she can do ballads, she can do soul, like everything she can, and also dancing. With this kind of song, apparently we won't see her move a lot on stage. But, you know, I think this is the really right choice for Israel this time. Because, first of all, it somehow, you know, reflects the uh, the situation, the emotions of people in the country following the uh, what happened in October 7th and the after. But also, I think this year excels in a very distinctive way of the number of songs which are, you know, like more upbeat and quirky song and even what some calls uh, spicy entries, I will call it that way. And we barely have ballads and we also barely have female ballads this year. So I think that if there is a year when a ballad can send out, it's this year. Uh, the text is really touching. We all know that yeah, it have been a really tough journey for the Israeli broadcaster this year with submitting a song and you know the lyrics haven't been accepted by the EBU and so on and so forth. But I think this change was for good because I truly believe that the new lyrics are much more impactful and the fact that they are not really, not that direct, but you know, you can digest and understand the message. It's really powerful. The song brought me to tears like in the first two times. And I really enjoy that. Um, my hope is, I have two hopes actually, and I will end with that. First of all, that they somehow manage to transit what happens in the video clip to the stage, because video clip is really one of the best uh, with all the dancers, etc. Of course, we all know that we can't have more than six people on stage, but yeah, we have some uh, very creative ideas already in the past, like using the LED videos or even I don't know, some not real people as well on stage, it's loud. Second of all, what I really hope is really that songs this year will be judged by the quality of song, not by name of country, not by events that happens in the country and not about the, the weather of people, whether they like Israel or not, because we hear United by Music, like the, the slogan of this year and the constant slogan. So I truly believe, and this is a match for all the bloggers as well, if you do a reviews, if you follow the contest of which is messages united by music, so let's please all of us be united by music. Of course, we can have conflicts, and every one of us can have his own idea and motto. But still, we're here to judge songs, nothing else. Thank you very much. Uh, continue with Vani, please. Yes, um, I tend to agree with you. Uh, Israel this year, in my opinion, has a fantastic ballad. I don't know. Uh, this girl is a multitasking, amazing singer, can sing everything, can support everything. Uh, it's also the fact she's like the second youngest representative this year, only 20 years old, uh, but still outsigns many other people in that country, in the contest. Uh, what to start, uh, the lyrics, very, very powerful and relate and relatable, uh, in every aspect, you can even relate uh, these lyrics to some hope song, even for some love song, everything. It fits everything, every bad or good situation for you. Uh, secondly, her voice. Her voice actually is the best thing. Uh, wow. This kind of... Actually, I see Israel sending so many talented artists lately. Every, everyone they send. Uh and I really like this. Uh, also, I like the fact Israel is finally going to send a ballad because we had many dance songs in a row, 
like Farad and Alain, Michael, Ben David, and Noah Kirill. And uh, now we have Baden Golan with the beautiful ballad. In my personal opinion, maybe I'm only myself, this is the best ballad this year in uh, out of all the ballads. Like Serbia, we have Portugal, but Israel is better than them, in my opinion, at least. And uh, yeah, uh, I really love the song. Very, very good uh, entry for Israel. Once again, congrats. I love it. I love it. And, and I hope she stays strong and uh, uh, doesn't and uh, just uh, composes herself. So she is um, very focused to the singing part and does not uh, and I hope she's not let down by potential haters for non-musical reasons. I really do. Awesome. Moving on to George, please. Well, uh, so um, I think Israel has picked one of the best female vocalists this year. Uh, I followed Eden Golan since the first audition of hers in the National Final Talent Show. Uh, she was amazing. She can sing ballads, dance songs, ethnic bops, ev literally everything. Um, well, I like that they chose to do a different route this year, like uh, Vani said, with ballad route, because, yeah, you know, people expect only ethnic bops from Israel, but they also send beautiful ballads. Like, I remember Hobby Star, he was amazing as well. And 2019 was a good host entry in a tough year, though. Uh, but about Hurricane, I think it's a good song, but it's also elevated mostly by Eden and her voice. It's an angelic voice. Um, I wish her the best of luck. I hope she really enjoys it. And yeah, good luck to Israel. Great. Nir, we would like to hear from you, please. Well, absolutely, Eden is fantastic. She's amazing. She's super talented. Her voice is out of this world. And she definitely knows how to deliver a message. But talking about the song itself, I think Eden brings us a, like a journey. Ever since the song starts with those heavy uh, breathing, until the last moment when the sun rises and those beautiful phrases in Hebrew that we finally hear on the stage. It's like a three minutes of magic. And, you know, all those negative uh, energies that we feel sometime or aspects or thoughts that we have literally disappear during those three minutes when we will hear Adam on stage delivering a beautiful message of, we don't really need uh, big words. We just need to listen to our heart and, and find the answers inside. And Adam is amazing. And I really, really expect to really good results for Israel this year. That's an amazing ballad and well done, Eden and all the team. Well done. Awesome. So now it's time to ask, guys, do you think Israel will qualify for the grand final this year? Wow, all of us agree. I, I would like to ask a tiny question. Um, do you think like all this, let's say, uh, controversial opinions about participation of the country this year can downgrade somehow the achievement or do you think it will be just um, kind of a noise that won't impact? I don't think I don't think it will impact. I hear that sometimes the media we only hear the you know whoever screamed louder but when we come to that contest and we know the fans all over the world, we know that deep down inside, everyone truly united by music and coming to spread love and coming to enjoy a beautiful show and some amazing talented and being united with those melodies. And definitely Eden have one of the best melodies of this year. You know, um, 
I'm not sure if many of you know, but whoever wrote the song, one of them at least is Kevin Pellets, which is one of the best, if not like more than that, like the, the songwriters in Israel. She's super talented and definitely know how to deliver a message by 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 a note and music. And they did a great job. And I think all those um you know negative aspects will just like fall down we need and then we will start singing we hope so okay it's time to give our scores uh vanny please nine near it's a nine for me george 8.5 Okay, so for me, it's really a moment because you all know that um, I really like ballads in general, like at least the, the guys here. And also I can reveal this song is my one of my top two this year. So therefore I have no other choice and I'm happy to say it's a 10 for me. Uh, really, I think what, I think that since Hasheket and Ishar by Shira Maimon, this is the best ballad that Israel has ever sent. I even can think it's like equal. Again, the vocals here will play a crucial role, but we all know she's gonna hit that note. She will. So yeah, I I'm really happy about that entry. Okay, so Eden Golan will compete in semifinal two as song number 14. She will compete in semifinal two and hopefully in the grand final. Guys, tell us in the comments below, what do you think about the Israeli song? How do you estimate the chances of Israel this year? Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel right here below, that's right. And you can visit us on ecb.com, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and basically everywhere. Thank you very much. Come visit us again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.